Ooh. God, these seats are grippy, aren't they? They're Alcantara. Yeah. Proper bolsters as well. It's still clear, nothing inside. So I left her here. It sounds nice. It does sound. Shit! Oh, so you're getting an economy meter there? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. much information, I mean. mate. I know you can get, I believe, your throttle and brake position, which I, I, that excites the hell out of me. You know me and data. I'd love to see what that's doing and see how that, certainly on like an auto solo, go, go and do a run and have it log what you're doing with the pedals. Yeah. So what's the colour, what's the official colour? Official colour. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's not just black, is it? Is it like oh. storm black or oh. something? Oh, can't remember. Idea? Can't remember. I know okay. that they said okay. it was, but no, no idea. Can't remember. But it's got, in terms of option, it's the GT model. Yeah, it's the GT Seriously, mate, model. Okay. Remember, you buying a car and me buying a car. Okay. I'm just like, yeah, I've got yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I want to okay. get behind the wheel and drive I, it. I believe it's a GT model. You, well, yeah, in I'm terms of sure options, GT, yeah. the only thing you're aware of is the carbon pack that I'm aware of. Yeah, which is there, yeah. there around the gear lever, a couple of bits over there, door oh, mirrors. And the mats. Rear wing. Because they're, they're an option extra. 190 what? quid for the mats. Type R mats? Apparently. Oh wow. Okay. So I was told by the dealer, but you know, <laughs> who knows. Whoa, that's a big fucking truck. So, and the carbon pack was two grand. You get a lot of carbon for that, I think. Shame the splitter isn't, that's just moulded. I see what you mean. Sat in here, When I look across to you, it doesn't feel any bigger than the Mark 7 Fiesta that we both had. No. But when I look at the bonnet, it does seem much bigger. And it's because the windscreen... Yeah, it's... I can't even... I can't, no. No, I can just touch the bottom I mean, it's it. a short windscreen. It's not long. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, it's really you know, steep. Steep. As far but away. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, that, and that makes the car feel more spacious. And the seat bags look so far. So even compared to my C-Max, that's like, that looks huge back there. I'm sure there's a bit of a compromise on legroom because of these seats. So that was six and a half. Bloody hell, it pulls in third. Yeah, Give that's why I said I'm addicted to the acceleration. Ever since I had it, oh, got wireless charging. BMW, yeah, exactly, yeah, wireless oh, charger and all that. Well. So you're going over there now. Okay. We've just got a couple of miles of uh, dual carriageway, and then we go off. So do you know what happens with the safety systems in what mode you're in? So you're in sport. Do you know if it? No, I don't know. I would imagine everything's still in, and then there's. R mode and then R plus? No, it's, well, it's just R, you know, plus oh, okay. R, that's it. It's oh, three modes R, as far as I'm aware. Okay. So comfort, sport, and plus so R. I'm in sport at the moment. Right. So everything's so gone. Now we're in plus R. Plus okay. R, yeah. What can I feel in the right? Yeah, okay, I'm feeling. It doesn't change the sound too much in here. It doesn't really sound to me like they're piping anything through the speakers either. No, no, there's no gimmicks I don't think. I think they just sort of said, you know, let's spend all the money on making the car go round the track. Just or, capable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, so at 3,000 RPM, put your foot down. Okay, it's not a lot, it's not a medium, yeah, because obviously yeah, yeah. induction as opposed to normally aspirated, like say, you do that in your Porsche, you're instantly, you know, feeling Yeah, there's feeling instant the shove, shove, there's just not very much of it, no. but it's instant. Yeah, because I don't even know what, um, no what the torque is on this thing. Oh, I feel the front just start to push yeah, a bit. Yeah, but remember the tyres, obviously so tyres are no name. Just ease it off, go back round again. That's the uh, the four brand new 
high fly tyres you've got. Yeah, decent. exactly, mate. Yeah, obviously yeah. I've got some decent rubber on here for a bit of yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. I'm still impressed with the grip, even though. That's yeah. There's a lot of lateral grip there. So you're giving it throttle there, aren't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's it's. It's kind of pushing, but you can tell it's pulling back in. Right, yeah, head off down that way now. Was, could you feel traction control? Yeah, traction control, control flashed up okay, there, yeah. Okay. No, I mean when you were going around the round Oh, I, no, but then no. that's the first time I sort of really, really, really okay. pushed it, pushed it, and had a chance to actually. Yeah. So you've got two and a half on it. Okay, at four it really gets going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm physically still feeling myself getting pushed into the back. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to get tired of this car anytime no, soon. No, no. These seats are proper. I mean, yeah, yeah. Are, like I say, know, it's not a compromise. A little bit of movement. You know, but, but like I say, here good, you're not moving support, anywhere. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're not an option. We're they, car. They're right, not height adjustable. It's just backrest, and that's it. Well, this one's height adjustable. Oh, is it? Okay. Height and yeah, okay. all the usual bollocks. And steering wheel reach. Yeah, and reach brake. and brake, yeah. Obviously I've got full reach on. And that shift is really close, isn't it? But not quite as close as your EP3. No, because that was sort of that, that was like there. a hand span away, yeah. wasn't it? I can't wait to feel that. It's just exactly the same. It's the it's the same knob, it's the same engraving, everything. That's an S2000 really gear short, knob. <laughs> stubby little shift lever. Oh, so they're all numbered? Yeah. Oh, wow. Then you've got... That's why I sent you a photo saying, my one's the 16,519. 16, yeah. Three pheasants threatened me. You know, yeah. you stood by the side of the road. I've already had one of those. Right now, it opens up. That's it. Second gear, off you go. <laughs> See, that scares me. It's because I don't know the road, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. plus a blind hill. It just doesn't want to slow down. It's like you've got no engine braking. No, not no, at all. No, it's okay. really free wheeling. So that's in third gear. Yeah, it's not really. Well, yeah, it's kind of holding the speed. Oh, I can't wait to ever go in this. I can't wait. I'm so glad I haven't even sat there yet. I am yeah, so glad. Because it's going to be a. It's, it's yeah. I mean, this has given me a taste of it. Keep going, keep going. Okay. I'll tell you when. Um, yeah, this sitting here has given me a taste of it. I, I know what it sounds like. I, I know what it rides like, and I know what the seats are like. But I'm so glad. So indicate ride. Now, are your high fly tyres going to be able to deal with the gravel? Head up there. Yeah, there's space up there. Yeah, that this this has got promise. Can't wait. Right. Let's go and have a bite to eat. Let's do this. Yeah, and obviously try the different modes, mate, and go the steering shit in comfort. So the seat doesn't go any lower? Oh, it does. You don't have it as high as possible. Oh, that's weird. You wouldn't have it. Oh no, I need to move it back a bit. That's too far. Oh, I keep wanting to. I'm used to it being further back, and it feels like it's in third for me there. And I keep thinking, right, get it in neutral. But okay, here we go. Nice graphics. Sounds hugely unremarkable. Is it good? Okay, so we're oh, <laughs> that's going to take some getting used to all the way across. Yeah, back. no lifting or pushing and handbrake off. Yeah, put on the brake. Yes, when okay. you initially move off, just need to put on the brake. Okay. Oh, yeah, reversing camera. Nice. Oh, that shift feels special. 
weird. I've never sat in the driver's oh, seat. So this seat. is your first time as a passenger in this car? Yeah. Okay, the steering wheel's nice and small. It's not too fat. Yeah, the um, quarter to three position feels nice. So this is in sport. Sport. Because it shows you okay. the and the I'm putting it in comfort. Bit. I want yeah, to drive it in comfort. Steering. Okay, yeah, it's light. I want to drive the first bit in comfort. And it rev matches. God, oh, that shift. Rev matches in every mode, but you can turn the rev matching off. Do you know how to do that? No. Nope. Okay. Because I so don't want to turn it off. <laughs> I, I don't get to rev match today. Well, that's fine, it does it for you. So, uh, fuel there, temperature just below halfway. Is that about where it gets yeah, to all the coolant? Yeah, that's where it is, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, it's been sat in the sun. We drove it an hour ago. Okay, second gear, 2,500 RPM, throttle response. Oh, yeah, there's lat. Oh, yeah, okay. That feels really bizarre because it's quite a way forward compared to what I'm used to. Isn't it short, the shift? Bloody hell. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. 2,000 RPM, I'm kind of trying to maintain speed and I'm needing to give it way more on the throttle pedal than I think. Yeah. But then I am in comfort mode. Yeah. And so it's really comfortable. The throttle's as loose as it's going to be. Right, okay. Tighten up, yeah. So I'm bored of comfort already. Sport mode. Right. Oh, it didn't, yeah, it didn't rev match. Yeah, I know. I don't, I'm not 100% on the... Okay, well then I'll, I'll rev match. And if it's going to do it, it for me anyway. I don't know if it rev matches when you're braking or when you're not. Let's have know. a look. Okay, try second now. Oh, it did then. Strange. Okay, second gear. Okay, that's key. Since it was front wheel drive then, just as we yeah. got up on the speed and it was still pulling it, it just took me off centre a bit, but nothing too serious. Okay, well the, heel, the pedals are spot on for heel and toe. Oh, okay, no, it pulled me that yeah, way Yeah, I then. did see that, I was like... What? Okay, so they haven't completely eliminated the torque steer, but then 320 horsepower through the front wheels, what do you expect? slow down to like no speed. Yeah, right, so I'm in sport at the moment. Yeah. I, I want to go race. Plus R, okay. Ah yeah, it is firmer. Oh, it's Do you know what my overriding immediate first thought is? Lag. <laughs> it's because, laggy. Yeah, it is, yeah. But then I'm used to normally aspirated. Like, really laggy. And this is in plus R mode. It's not too... Um, it's not too firm. It's, it's not like my, um, my active dampers in their firm setting. Cyclists are say I've missed that power that I had in my 140. So we're doing two and a half thousand in sixth, foot to the floor, nothing, nothing, nothing. Takes a while, I think yeah. the boost threshold on this car, so it doesn't
doesn't matter about what speed you're doing on the throttle opening, it doesn't really get going until well north of 3k. Yeah. Whereas the M140i and the Fiesta and the Focus are all kind of like two or thereabouts. So it's really quite heavily boosted. But above three, there's lag, and then, yeah, it's at 4k that it, it, it seems up, to come alive up, yeah. a bit. I don't know, the steering, it's electric, but it feels all right. I see what you mean about the pedal. They're not overly surfed, the brakes. No. It's got good feel. Uh, yes. Go this way. Good this side. Good this side. Good this side. Okay. Oh, the lights flash. Oh, wow. Okay, that's second gear. never been in a turbo car that wants to rev at the top end as much as this does. That last bit, the last 1500 RPM, yeah. it Not like just it's, pulls. Yeah, it doesn't say, oh, that's enough now. It's obviously still got the VTEC technology there. Is that telling me yeah, how to drive? Yeah, the across in front of you. At this level, okay, th that surprises me. We're at 4,000 and it's still quite laggy. So now we're at five and a half. Okay, it's, it's better there. No, yeah. That that first impression, the lag Another one. is still there. <laughs> but it just beats its horn yeah. or something. This is eight, aren't they? Yeah. But uh, that's two I've seen today. I haven't seen any. Now I've seen two in one day. locking front divs. And that's 300 through the front wheels with a fair bit of steering lock on. And it, you feel it bring the car in. <laughs> Mate, this is, this is... It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not a well, well thought out motor. Yeah. You know. change or you wish it had something or didn't do something I mean the, the, the driver edge you can turn buttons and, and shut them off can't you but no I haven't come across anything gone no, feels, like that. okay I'm, I'm, no I can't do this not in comfort um, it really does wait up in the in the more aggressive modes I've missed the quick rack as well. So my Focus RS was two turns lock to lock. The M140i was just a little bit more. Yeah. My um, my Cayman is over three, and you're forever turning the bloody wheel. That. That is a thing of beauty. The way that feels. Yeah. BMW need to learn from that. Why don't they buy one of these and reverse engineer the shift? Because that's how a shift is should feel. Okay. Struggling for traction a bit then over those bumps. It sounds, it must be piping that through the um, speakers. It sounds normally aspirated. It is weird, yeah. But it sounds really revvy and zingy. So the 
it seems, yeah, okay, now I'm here, I've, I've got a bit of movement, but you know it's there for you. The, you know the seat, the, the bolsters yeah, in it's there. not going to fold. And the fact that they're Alcantara as well, I've never really, I don't think, I haven't driven a car that's got Alcantara seats, I don't think I have. You just don't move anyway because they're Alcantara and you could probably cope without the bolsters. straight through there. Just up there is the start line of the Festival of Speed hill climb. Oh, okay, That's, yeah. That road takes you to the top of the hill. Okay, I got a sense it was front wheel drive then. It does, clearly it's going to struggle with traction with, with what it's got going through the front wheels. Um, I remember what my Fiesta with the open diff and I had 230 horsepower. It was you you were forever just having to manage the front axle, the grip. Yeah. On track, this would be an absolute weapon shot. Like no doubt in my mind whatsoever. I'd get this around good way quicker than the 140, which is going to put it down in the, I think, 31s, 32s, in my hands anyway, which is bloody quick. I think I did 135 in my cable, but it just feels, everything feels you know, really well connected and thought out. Don't get tired of that, do you? No. No, after you've been, you know, sitting in traffic, you know, and forget. Yeah, when you get an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about this last night. This is the first, okay, apart from the 107 and my C-Max, this is the first front-wheel drive car that I have properly driven in five years because in May 17 I got my RS, then I got yeah. the M140i, so four wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and the Cayman now mid engine rear wheel drive. So I wasn't sure what to expect, I was convincing myself I was really going to feel that. They've done a lot here. Right, just around here, you might remember this bit of road. Launching the Focus yeah. RS, you remember that? Yeah. I won't do that in this because it'll be a bit brutal. <laughs> uh, the M140i, it rev match regardless of what you did, but this seems to let you do it yourself. Yeah. You know, we're going much faster than we are. 
it's fun to beeping, isn't it, and saying stuff. Yeah. Right, are we clear? Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> it's got like a hard limiter. Yeah, there. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, I like the feel of that brake pedal. It's not too dissimilar to what I'm used to with the Cayman. It's one of the worst things about modern cars. They over-assist everything. Okay, we'll catch them up now where we've got an overtaking opportunity. Well, it's nice, that I, it's nice that I hit 28 mpg now that you've completely destroyed that. But oh, what is it now? I can't 27.5. Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus, look at the lumps. I know, I'm trying to avoid them. Jesus. Avoid the wood. Do you know, even at high revs, it surprises me that you shift, get back on the gas, and you have to it has to spool up again. I mean, oh, it's tugging a bit there. Fourth gear. But yeah, so even at high revs, when I shifted from third to fourth, I got back on the gas. I really got the sense that the hole, that lengthy intake that goes right around the engine had to pressurise. I know they're criticised for the interior. Did Harris say? Eggshells, I think. <laughs> Made yeah. of eggshells. But it is but actually soft. It's, that's not just plastic. I mean, that's got a bit of give. You know, it's a it bit does squidgy. have the, 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 yeah. the slightest um, bit on it. Yeah. Same as yeah. But this. how often do you drive like along going like that? Well, I don't. You, yeah. you don't exactly. Personally, I'd like so, it. I'd like it to be really thin plastic because then it's lighter. But yeah. So if you're one for the um, nice interiors, well, that would be a reason why you might not consider it. But. There's something to drive, sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this, my friend. I, apart from the looks, which is yeah. like I say, it's, it's Marmite. You either love it or you yeah, hate it. Apart, you know? apart from that, and the non-Porsche stroke BMW interior build quality. But you've got some real carbon, yeah. Um, yeah. and I think I have to say the best shift I've ever driven with, bar none. Um, yeah. I, I can't find any downsides at all. When you could do this and stick it back in in comfort mode, so you just now need to focus on wearing out those high fly tyres as quickly as possible. Well, not too quick, mate. I'm I've hemorrhaged a lot of money buying this yeah, in the first place. I've got I to guess. rebuild up my um, and they told bank you balance. That, uh, they spent a grand on tyres. Yeah. They didn't, not for high flies. No. But, as I mentioned when we were having lunch, that's no bad thing. I just paid money to reduce the grip on my Cayman. So you've got four brand new high fly tyres, but at least you've got the same grip on each corner. Yeah. So you might have less grip, but then you get to feel it doing stuff, and I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Oh, mate. So, okay, you know, you've been thinking about driving this, you know? Yeah, oh no, I, I, yeah, I didn't, didn't sleep much last night because I was in genuine excitement. So it's, it's not like it's been like a bit of a letdown. It's like, no, not, not at all. Not quite, completely thought, not. Yeah. No, no. This yeah. is. Because there's nothing worse than going, oh, it's going to be amazing, then well, going, okay. actually, like, this is I a think, bit average. What I can say is I don't think I've ever driven a front-wheel drive car that feels anything like as focused as this at all. That oh. is a thing of beauty, mate. Yeah, exactly. This, like I say, that's, that's a so mirror short. image of the S2000 so, gear shift. Oh, hang on. Where's... Oh, I guess when you're rolling, it locks. There's there's no resistance to get into fifth there. I would imagine when you're rolling, it kind of blocks reverse off. Because I, I was trying to find fifth then, and there's hardly any there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, yeah. that's um. 
So, do I even need to put the handbrake on? Just turn it off and it puts it on, I would expect. I don't know, I always put it on, obviously. Oh, felt the pedal go down, yeah. Yeah, yeah not, not even slightly like, mm, do you know what? Yeah. So if I didn't have the Cayman and I had one of these on the drive instead, I, I, I wouldn't be unhappy. I, like, I, I got up yesterday morning at like 5am and went out and just drove 100 miles. I, I could see myself doing that in one of these. Oh, yeah, very nice, mate. Yeah, I like it. Right. It'll do me.